Students need to gear up for a busy week ahead. After snow buried roads and schools for almost two weeks, students are now headed back to class tomorrow morning. Two News reporter Asia Vickers is live at Elliott Elementary with an update on preparations. Asia? Well, Marla, as you can see, the roads are much better today, but there are still a few slick spots. TPS says it's still prepared for students. At a birthday party at Bounce U, the kids are having one last hurrah before they head back to school. Um, we played on the Jupiter jams. At the party, many parents and students say they're finally going back to their usual Sunday routines of doing laundry, fixing lunches, and getting supplies ready for school. Some are more prepared. Well, you got to make sure all the laundry's washed. You got to make sure you got stuff to make the lunch. Got to make sure the backpacks are ready to go. Others aren't. I don't even know where my backpack is. Probably, <laughs> I'll have to find that. Meanwhile, Tulsa public school teachers have been busy planning lessons and setting up classrooms. The district is also checking buses, clearing roads and lots, just to make sure everything is ready to go Monday. The district has also been hard at work trying to figure out how to make up for lost time. They asked parents to take a survey to give their input on how they like nine snow days to be made up. Two options many don't like, going to school during spring break or on Saturdays. Saturdays interfere with religious services. Saturdays, in, Saturdays interfere with jobs on kids. Saturdays interfere with jobs on staff. Instead, many suggested going to class on President's Day, a professional day, and a parents' teacher conference day. Ballard says there's a lot of time to make up for. He has one message to send. Come back ready to go to work, all of us. Now, the superintendent is considering all results from the survey. An announcement will be made later on this week on how to make up those snow days. Live in Midtown, Asia Vickers, 2 News works for you.